download that one. And then, like right now, we're on the entertainment pack. So if I go back, you'll see that each screen is really ideal for somebody who's interested in entertainment and all the news that's going on in the entertainment area. But I jump over to Socially Connected, and you're going to see that we'll be directly connected to our Twitter feed right on the front. We'll have our Facebook integrated. I tap there, and boom, there's my Twitter account. Scroll over here, and you see different games that we've got installed. Telenav for Sprint, quick shots to your camera, barcode scanner, things like that. So what Sprint has done is taken the best of what's in the marketplace. We've got directly connected to our, our Facebook account there. Taking the best of what's out there in the marketplace and working with partners, mm -hmm. develop packs that will help customers get comfortable with Android, get comfortable with apps. And then they can actually go and start downloading any apps they want to the marketplace. The other great thing is that let's say I went ahead and customized this pack a little bit more and I downloaded a few more apps. I can go in and change my pack all those changes I made there are still going to be there. So if I want to flip back, let's say during the weekdays I want to be on the business pack and during the weekends I want to be socially connected, I can do that and I won't lose any of the customization I've done beyond what Sprint installed. Is this free to the end users? It is. Wow. Um, we have just launched Sprint ID on both the Samsung Epic and the Samsung Galaxy tab. We also have it on the Zio, the Transform, a couple other devices. But yeah, it's free to customers. You just install it and it doesn't really become intrusive. It just gives you one click access to change your packs. And within a few moments, boom, now you've got everything you want to know about ESPN and over here we're going to get back to our music. Okay. Very nice.